everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my video today is sharing with you how I got on at a recent jeans making workshop. Now for those of you that didn't see the video where I told you about it, um, it was my So Hayley Jane unboxing uh, video. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but um, Hayley from So Hayley Jane was running a, a giveaway um, for four places at a jeans making workshop at her studio and uh, it was going to be taught by Charlotte Newland from The Sewing Bee. So as soon as I saw that, that this giveaway was going on, I got straight in there. I was like, yes, I really want to win this competition. And then Hayley announced the winners and um, yeah, I didn't really think much more of it. And then it was about a week or two before the actual date of the workshop where Hayley had messaged me and it seems like quite a few others because I think the people that initially won the competition, unfortunately, just due to personal circumstances, they couldn't actually make the workshop. So Hayley had to do a redraw and my name came out as one of the redraws. So I was so excited. And as soon as I got that message from her to say that I'd won, I was like, yes, yes, I want to go. So I was so pleased. Um, it was running from a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So it's a three day workshop. And so I managed to get the day off work for the Friday and uh, managed to get myself um, a hotel and everything in, in enough time. And uh, yeah. I managed to go to the workshop. I had such a great time. Um, what I will do is I will insert some footage because I did manage to do some vlogging whilst I was there. Um, all up to kind of, well, starting uh, when I actually got to the hotel <laughs> and then all the way um, to the last day of the workshop. So um, yeah, I will insert that now so you can kind of see how I got on at the workshop and then I will show you my finished jeans. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> so I made it to the hotel. As you can see, it is dark outside now. It is 20 to 10. Um, it took me a little bit longer getting here than I thought. Um, the sat nav just took me on a really weird route, <laughs> but I managed to get here in the end. Um, and I did a quick drive by of where um, Haley's studio is. So I know where the turning off is. I don't know if you guys ever do that. It's just, I like to kind of know where I'm going. <laughs> so it, it's only like five minutes down the road. So that's good. So yes, I have arrived. I thought I'd just give you a quick view of the room because if you're like me, I like being nosy and I like seeing um, people's hotel rooms. And uh, yeah, I'll just flip you around. <laughs> there we go. So it's quite a small room. I've got a nice double bed all to myself and got a lovely little chair as well there. And a nice little desk as well. And uh, yeah, really nice little room. Let me show you the bathroom as well. There we go. <laughs> Not that everyone needs to see the bathroom. I just thought you guys would like to see where I'm staying. So I am going to have a cup of tea because I have tea making facilities and I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea and then go to bed and then ready to start uh, the jeans making tomorrow. <laughs> morning everybody so yes I had a lovely night's sleep bed was lovely and comfortable and yes I'm really excited because today is the first day of the jeans sewing uh, weekend so I think today I think it's going to be mainly uh, doing a twirl because um, Hayley had asked us to bring two uh, lengths of our denim so I think one's for the twirl and then one's for the main jeans that we'll be making. So I'm really excited. I am a little bit nervous as well, just because, you know, it's meeting new people. Um, I did actually find out that a lady that I bumped into at the um, knitting and stitching show, um, Ali Pally, won as well. I think she was one that got a, a, as a redraw. So I'm really excited to see her again because I think I literally just bumped into her. Um, so that'll be really nice to see her and uh, yeah, really looking forward to meeting everyone else. So I've got myself my cup of tea and I've got a little chocolate croissant to keep me powered up for the morning. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna leave probably in about half an hour because um, it takes me about five minutes to get down there. It's about 20 past nine now. So I can't wait. I will speak to you guys a little bit later once uh, yeah, we've started jeans making. <laughs> everyone so I am back from my day one of my jeans making uh, day and I've just realized I've left a pin in my top <laughs> I was pinning things together and I just shoved it in there do you does anyone else do that just leave pins randomly in your clothes all right must return that tomorrow <laughs> so um yes today it was it was brilliant I had such a good day the other ladies on the um, weekend are lovely, really, really nice to talk to. Instantly, we all just started chatting and we got on really well. And uh, yeah, just really, really fun. So today we made our twelve. So we had one length of denim and um, what we did is we cut out the, uh, the size that was kind of obviously best suited for our measurements. So I am making the closet court ginger jeans and I was kind of between a size 12 and a 14. So I was like a 12 on the waist and then a 14 on the hip. So I had to grade between the two sizes. And Charlotte, um, who's running the class, um, she showed me uh, the best way of grading, where to grade and um, what pattern pieces to grade at, which is really, really interesting. 
because my sort of grading that I know, I know how to grade, you know, uh, like a dress where it's a bit more straightforward, where you just create um, a different line. I do know how to do bust adjustments, not that I have to do them very often, um, but anything for trousers, I've absolutely got no idea about um, fitting adjustments and what pattern pieces, because there's so many pattern pieces to jeans. And yeah, I didn't really know where to start apart from maybe grading, you know, the side seams or something. Um, but yeah, she showed me how to do that. So it was really good. Uh, so I graded between two sizes. I cut out um, my pattern and then I just sewed it out like together, like really basically, you know. So Charlotte was telling us, you know, just put this together like this, put this together like that. And um, I did finish my twirl. And I brought it uh, back to the hotel with me because I thought you guys would like to see it. And um, yeah, it was in this um, black denim. My actual jeans are going to be in a blue denim, but I thought the black would be good for a twirl. So you can see on here where the pockets would be. They're all raw. We've just sewn those shut. Um, as you can see, the waistband is raw. That would have a lining in usually. Um, there's no zip because it's just a case of pinning it together um, to get the effect and everything. Um, and obviously no pockets or anything on the back. So um, yeah, what I did is I then, once they were all put together, I tried them on and then I went over to Charlotte and she stood there and, you know, kind of pinched bits of fabric and things to make them really fit nicely. And then she helped me adjust the pattern, which was great. So um, some adjustments that I needed is, um, I've actually left the, the pins in here just because I thought it would be good to kind of show you. So um, she had to take a wedge out of the back because I had a slight sway back um, on the jeans. So it was kind of gaping a bit at the back. So um, we took out this um, amount and because this is a curved, waistband she showed me how to adjust the curved waistband because a straight waistband you just literally you know grade it a bit and take a chunk off but with a curved waistband she showed me how to clip into the pattern and adjust the curve which is brilliant so that was one adjustment and then there was an adjustment at the front so I had a little bit um, too much excess at the front um, it was kind of wrinkling like kind of just like here um, and so she took a tiny bit of the crotch depth away. It was just an absolutely tiny amount, but she says that should be just enough um, for what I need. And also, um, I have, um, I, I needed a small bum adjustment. I think this pattern is um, drafted for ladies with a very curvy bottom, I think, because um, I think, yeah, the other lady that made the pattern also needed um, a small bum adjustment. So um, what she did there, she, again, you can see she pinched out the excess fabric and then adjusted the pattern. So after doing that, um, also the length, this is very strange because these were actually quite long on me. Usually I have to lengthen um, patterns, <laughs> not, um, not shorten them, but um, because they're skinny jeans, I don't obviously want them right down you know kind of past my ankle I want them a little bit higher up because I like to wear skinny jeans you know with a bit of ankle gap I'm not sure if I can show you what I'm currently wearing Ooh, but as you can see a bit of an ankle gap so not all the way down here so she took off two inches for that as well so yes and then once I had um, tried on the twirl, then I got cutting out my main fabric. So my uh, fabric's cut out, my linings, my interfacings, that's all now cut out and ready for tomorrow. So I'm really excited to then get going tomorrow with my actual pair of ginger jeans. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to um, just chill out now in my hotel room just for about an hour or so. Um, I've actually arranged to meet up with all the other ladies um, to have dinner, which is brilliant. So I can't wait for that. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really lovely evening. And uh, I just feel like I'm just so like smiley because it was just such a lovely day. It went so quickly. We started at 10 and it's now just, well, just gone six o'clock. So we're probably there just after half past 
five-ish, I think, after a while. So yeah, full on day. But it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it absolutely flew. I can't wait for tomorrow. So I will check in with you tomorrow. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Hi everyone again. So yes, it's the morning of the second day of the jeans making workshop. So I'm about to head off in about 10 minutes. Uh, really excited again because yesterday we did the toile and today, um, well yesterday I cut out the actual fabric for my actual jeans. So um, yeah, I can get to start making those today, which would be amazing. Really looking forward to it. I must admit this morning I'm feeling a bit achy just because I think it was like a full on day of sewing and um, cutting out obviously um, quite a lot of pattern pieces. I did a mixture of on floor cutting and a little bit of on table cutting. So I think it's just maybe like reaching and, you know, kind of like being on the floor and stuff like my knees are a bit sore, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, but yes, uh, so hopefully today I think it's just going to be mainly sitting and sewing, um, which will be a little bit nicer on my, on my knees. <laughs> So yeah, I'll uh, try and get some more pictures throughout the day if I can, and uh, I'll catch up with you when I'm back. <laughs> So I'm back from my second day at the uh, jeans making workshop and yeah we made loads of progress today. I've bought back um, my jeans <laughs> to share with you on my progress. I'm really really happy with how they're going. So um, I, let me just do the zip up, they still got a lot of work to be done to them so I still need to do um, the waistband and everything but the zip is inserted and you can see some of my top stitching going on there and my zip. So yeah, that's looking good. Do you like my lining? <laughs> I love that lining. It was um, given to me by one of my lovely followers, Nancy. Um, and uh, yeah, she sent it to me and I just thought it would be absolutely perfect um, to put in my jeans because I just thought every time I wear them, then um, I'll be reminded of that. And look, isn't it lovely with those little nitty kitties? <laughs> I love it. And um, so yeah, more top stitching at the back. I love how that all matches up. And yeah, just done loads of bits really. Um, so I put them on and then Charlotte fitted me again on the legs. And that's where we got up to. So um, I've kind of done one leg. <laughs> so one leg sort of fits me. So I need to adjust the other leg. 
Um, and then yes, tomorrow we can do the waistband. Um, we obviously need to do pockets still because there's no pockets on the back. And um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Oh yeah, rivets and things as well. But it's going really, really well. And I really do feel like I'm learning so much. Like Charlotte is such a great teacher and, you know, she's really patient with me. And uh, one of my favourite things is I think I was asking like loads of questions and I'm like, I'm really sorry for any silly questions. And she was like, no, there's no silly questions. Ask away. And yeah, it just makes me feel really comfortable. And uh, yeah, I mean, her knowledge is amazing. I'm really, really enjoying um, like learning from her. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. So um, I, I'm off um, popping out for um, dinner a little bit later. So I'm gonna chill out in my hotel room for a little bit and I will catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> so yep, last day of the workshop. Really excited because then I can hopefully, fingers crossed, get my jeans finished today, which would be amazing. Um, so I'm probably not gonna be able to um, do any filming after um, the workshop like I, I have done the last couple of days because um, we finish at five and um, I've got a couple of hours drive to get home. Really looking forward to seeing Stuart and the cats. <laughs> so I'm just literally gonna uh, drive home. But I'll kind of maybe record um, something at the beginning, at the end of this video to uh, kind of hopefully put it all together nicely. So I've really enjoyed my time so far and as I said really excited for today to get those jeans finished and yeah so I'm going to now check out you can probably just see my bag just here uh, so yeah I'm just going to check out now and head over to the studio for the last time so yeah I'll uh, insert some um, videos and pictures uh, from what I can get and I will speak to you later <music>
so that was my time at the workshop and yeah I had such a good time. The ladies um, that were there who also won um, the place for the workshop they're really really nice that we got on really really well. It was so nice to meet Hayley as well. Um, so I know as soon as I saw Hayley when I got to um, her studio, um, she gave me a big hug and was like, oh, hello. <laughs> so it was so nice to meet everyone. And Charlotte, just her knowledge is absolutely amazing. She was so good at just explaining things really well. And, uh, you know, anytime I thought I was doing you know something a bit like silly or I didn't quite understand something you know she was so helpful and um, yeah just made me feel you know like I wasn't being silly <laughs> or anything like that and uh, so I just had a, a brilliant time and those three days were really full on uh, you know I think we were starting at about 10 o'clock and we quite often wouldn't finish till about sort of five half five you know, we'd have like a little um, break for lunch. But apart from that, it was really kind of full on. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was absolutely amazing. I just, I, I know I keep saying how good it was, but all I would say is if you are ever thinking of doing one of Charlotte's um, jeans making workshops, I really, really do recommend it. I know that I won this as a prize and I didn't have to pay for it, but I would have paid for that experience because the knowledge that Charlotte has and just being able to put the pattern together and I can honestly say that as soon as I started because the way she was breaking it down into just you know just worry about this step don't don't think ahead it just made it actually I would say quite straightforward it was kind of you know I wasn't thinking too much about the big picture of the finished jeans it was more of a case of breaking it down into small steps and, you know, just like little hints and tips that she was giving me that, you know, will help me with a lot of other projects that I will be doing in the future. And, you know, I'm not scared of jeans anymore. Um, I actually get this. I actually started to enjoy doing top stitching. <laughs> Normally top stitching absolutely terrifies me because I'm like full concentration, staring at the machine, making sure that I don't go like wobbly or anything. But I actually started to really enjoy it. Um, I loved the way that Charlotte um, kind of just said, you know, go for it, you know, and you know, this. I don't want people to unpick everything. Just literally, if it's not perfect, it's your first pair of jeans. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it just, I don't know, just made me feel kind of like, actually, do you know what? This is a learning experience. It's not about having an amazingly, you know, perfect pair of jeans at the end. It's just learning how to construct them, you know, tips and techniques on making them, and also some tips about fitting, which I found really, really helpful. So I had to grade between two sizes. I had to do a small bum adjustment. Um, I had to do a, um, a crotch depth adjust adjustment. I had to, you know, adjust the legs accordingly, you know, for um, a skinny fit for the jeans that I wanted. So yeah, I mean, if you ever do get the opportunity to go to one of those classes, I really, really do recommend it. I had such an amazing time and I learned so much. So thank you so much to Hayley, if you're watching for running that giveaway. And yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. I just had the best time. <laughs> so my finished jeans, here they are. <laughs> so um, I have worn them, I think twice since I made them because um, I know it sounds really silly, but I was trying to not wear them too much because I didn't want to wash them before showing you guys them <laughs> just in case. You know, we're all like it in case, you know, all my top stitching comes undone or, or what have you. <laughs> so I have only worn them a couple of times, so I haven't washed them yet. Um, I did pre-wash my um, denim um, beforehand and everything. Um, and this denim that I picked up, this um, was from Fabric Godmother. And um, if if they still have it, I will link it down below. Um, it's a, I think it's like a recycled um, denim so I think it's like got um, something like 75% recycled cotton in it um, a bit of elastine and also a little bit of polyester and I actually did choose 
to have a little bit of polyester in it just because I thought um, for, you know, like creasiness and things like that, it would probably be, you know, quite nice to work with um, in that respect. And because I like skinny jeans, um, you know, I kind of didn't want them um, too heavy. So I can't remember what ounce this was. It might be in, it might be in about a nine ounce, I think. It's a lovely, lovely denim in this lovely blue colour. So, yes, first things first. So, um, yes, that is what the jeans look like. <laughs> you may notice my lining on the waist and um, you may be able to see oh, yeah, on the inside for the uh, pockets. If I can see there. Can you see that? It's little cats with their little knitting. <laughs> and... In, uh, as part of the kind of like to bring list, you had to bring obviously your denim and a lining fabric. And I thought, do you know what? I actually want something that's maybe a little bit special for the lining. I just didn't want to just bring any old sort of um, lining. And this cotton, it's 100% cotton. Um, this was given to me by one of my lovely followers, Nancy. And she sent me a little package and um, she sent me this fabric. And it was one of those sort of fabrics that it was so special. And I was kind of thinking, oh, what should I make with it um, and everything? And do you know what? I just kind of thought, how good would that be to use it on my first pair of jeans that I will just have so many fond memories of? And uh, yeah, just kind of will always be special. And I still do have quite a bit of this fabric left, so I still can make other things with it. But I just thought that would be absolutely perfect. And you guys know how, you know, cat crazy I am. So I just thought I had to use that. <laughs> so overall, I'm really happy with everything. You can see my top stitching. I mean, I, I can't believe how good my top stitching is if I don't say so myself. <laughs> I thought it went really, really well. I absolutely love the pockets it was they were just so fun to do um because you draw out like a little design and then you just kind of like follow um the guides and um yeah just lots of really great techniques um you can see there on the fly i've done my bar tacks and uh, if i open up the jeans you can see there i've got my zip and yeah it all just looks really really nice and most importantly, they fit me <laughs> as well, which is absolutely fabulous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop them on and I'll give you um, a little bit of twirling so you can see um, how they fit on me um, and everything. And yeah, I just have to say, I'm just, I'm so proud of myself that I've done them. And I'm actually really excited to actually make another pair and before anyone um, says anything, um, I won't be offering um, at any point to be doing a jeans sew along. Um, as I said, this took me um, three full days to um, to do this. And, you know, I, I don't have the time to be able to go through all of that. So I'm really sorry. Um, and also, I do think that, you know, Charlotte's workshops, you know, her knowledge and everything, it's her knowledge. It's it's not mine. And I just think, you know, if you really, really want to make a pair of jeans and you're so nervous to, you know, not do it without a helping hand, I really recommend doing a workshop. It's not something that I think um, is in my remit to be able to do. Um, and, you know, I want to enjoy making my jeans and I don't want the added pressure of doing any type of sew along for them. So I just wanted to put that out there just as a kind of I really hope you understand that, um, yeah, it's not something that I will be um, considering at the moment. So, yeah, let me pop them on and I will uh, show you all of the details. Um, but thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, then please do give me a thumbs up and anything that I have kind of said you know I'll obviously link down below um, but thank you again so much for everyone for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video take care bye